my interest in craft and design is, is one of the more formal aspects of my practice. I talk a lot about appetites, um, how we consume things, how we treat things to consume them. My works are always very domestic in a, in a sense. I use a lot of crafty things. I think of the space and whether that has meaning for me. It takes longer to get down what I'm going to do than actually doing it because once I have all my studies and all my materials ready, I can work pretty fast. I wanted the works to trigger also some questions within the viewer's head. Why are we so obsessed with design? Why is it that there's so much desire to create identity or to fabricate identity through design? Materials have their own perceptual meanings. If we see wood, it already triggers certain meanings. And when we transpose wood into some other form so that we can say something new, we still have to take whatever history the wood has. I like to use a lot of references. I do like to anchor them so that they're not too abstracted, that it would be difficult to give form to the different elements that form the narrative. The narratives that I try to write through my art, I deliberately leave like empty spaces. So you, you'll see I have a lot of like blank sculptures, I suppose, or ghost sculptures. Because it's, it's nice to create that sort of you know, negative space for the viewer to come in and, and contribute their own set of experiences and own memories so that they can weave in their own narrative. Undeniably, my work is very feminine. I wouldn't discount that. I mean, I wouldn't deny that fact because it is the language that I work in. I call myself an artist because I make things in that sense. So I make objects and it doesn't matter whether those objects are uh, flat or 3D. 